So we're here with Mira Batu. Mira is the Chief Product Officer at Stella and Dot. We're honored to have Stella and Dot as our client at Intellimize. And a question for you. Tell me about the goals of personalization on your site. Well, ultimately at Stella and Dot, we have three segments uh, that we worry about. So first and foremost, we're here for our stylists who um, our mission is to create flexible work opportunity for them. And then we have our hostesses who love Stella and Dot and are essentially a referrer for Stella and Dot. And then we have our customers who also you know, want to shop the, the Stella and Dot products. So we have all three of them coming to our site. Um, so ultimately our goal is to optimize for all three of them and get them through the funnel that is most appropriate for them most efficiently so you know, they, they find what they need. What, are, what have you learned through the process of personalization? Um, I think uh, some of it has been kind of the classic rules of you know, what you might think about personalization, which is that one, you know, very small ideas can make a very big difference. So um, an example is the test that we've run in our shopping cart where just small headlines around personalizing and adding names and just using more motivational messaging can drive a huge uh, conversion change just in the cart, which obviously drives sales. Um, the second is you never know what's going to win, um, so that's also uh, the reason that you test um, because your own personal opinions probably don't, don't, don't always add up. Sure. And then uh, last question, what, what advice would you give uh, an e-commerce company who is thinking about personalization and just wanting to get started? What, what advice would you give? Well, I would say I think you should move beyond A-B testing really quickly. Um, you know, A-B testing is, <clears throat> means you've got to predetermine your segments or even a lot of classic um, sort of older school personalization companies still require you to go out and say, you know, in our case, maybe these are the three segments that you have and might, might let you personalize to those three, but within that, it gets really unwieldy really quickly. So for me, I think it's, you know, look for somebody and, and look for machine learning that can help you really run thousands of variants rather than having to sort of pre-think through everything that could possibly be happening so that you're programming it. That's great. Mira, thank you so much for your time. Thanks.